Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match of Zero to Natalie is the Dawn. I am Shadow Fury 3K3, remaining your host, and this is another exhibition match. Flipstep versus Rymark. I was I'm sorry, I was mistaken in the last game. I put in the bottom Kshatri versus Flipstep. That's a later game I'm doing. I think it's the last game I'm doing. That was Kshatri versus Rymark. But this is Flipstep versus Rymark, so I guess it all works out. On Hide and Seek, which I haven't shown in a while, and this map is a bit of an odd one. Very hilly, very choke point focused. There's choke points here, choke points here, and all around. And it's also got a lot of disparity in its metal ice reactors. You have the plus 1.3s, plus 2.4s, a few plus 2.7s, a couple of them. Mostly 2.4 and 1.3. And it looks like both players are starting out near the 1.3s. Yeah, both of them are. Neither of them, despite the fact that Flipstep knows this map. Like Flipstep and Felthos, although I haven't seen Felthos in a while, Flipstep and Felthos were used to playing this map all the time. So Flipstep should know it, this is 1.3, but I guess they figure, well, I guess I'll just get all three of them and then build the 2.4. I guess they figure it's too risky to get raided, because this is easily raided on this hill. These 1.3s are a bit easier to defend. Rymark, I'm not sure if they're thinking the same thing. They are going for jump bots, though, because they are Rymark. And Rymark goes for jump bots, and occasionally occasionally gunships, but usually jump bots. And Flipstep, opening up with Glaives. They do not know what Rymark is up to yet. Once they do, I'm curious, are they going to go for the Zeus, like the Zeus Rocco setup, or are they going to go for the Glaive Tick setup? Now, Glaive Tick is currently in vogue because Zeus are countered by moderators and Glaives aren't. But at the same time, Zeus is a lot easier to pull off. Glaive Tick is a much trickier strategy to do. And it looks like Glaive Scythe, actually, or at least for now. Going to try to get in and see what they can take out with Scythes. And Rymark coming in for not even harassment, just just locking down that choke point. They aren't even hitting Flipstep's base yet. Flipstep along the north side should be able to deal a bit of damage. Might be able to take out that 2.4. And Rymark, oops, are they going to be able to do so? I are they going to go for it? They might go for it. Nope, they're not going for it. They're going to die to the commander instead. That glaive was sick of life. Flipstep is otherwise not really doing much, but yeah, they are definitely going for Glaive. And Puppy from Rymark, which is the correct, res that's the correct response. I mean, puppies just beat Glaives. Pu Glaives do not have the range to kill puppies before the puppies fire off and hit them. And when the puppies are in missile mode, they are invincible. Okay, Flipstep pointing out in chat, they go for size because the Glaives get shut down too easily by Pyros and also by puppies. That's a fair point. I don't, I dis, I, sorry, I agree with the sides. I think that sides are not a bad idea, but it looks like Flipstep in this case, canceling the sides, going for Tick instead, so they are going to go for Glaive Tick. Going for the in vogue strategy. And a bit behind in economy, too. Rymark, having expanded already a little bit over to the north. Flipstep, a bit stagnant at this point. Taking a lot of the bottom metal extractors, not sure why they're going for the lower value ones. Possibly because they can't easily defend right now. Trying to keep everything re relatively centralized. While Rymark, on the other hand, fairly confident that they can defend whatever they need to. And thus not worried about it. Glaives coming around the back, which are spotted. Are they spotted? No, they're not spotted. But they will be able to... Well, one of them will die. Oh, got rid of the pup. Oh, not quite. Like I said, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Even when they just about kill the puppy, the puppy still hits them. And Rymark, on the other hand, going around doesn't find much because Flipstep just doesn't think they can defend. Or at least that's, as far as I can tell, they don't think they can defend, and that's probably not inaccurate. Where's that tick gone off to? Yeah, okay, there it is. Tick here, but no follow-up available. Glaives having moved forward. Right now, I feel like Rymark is in a very confident position while Flipstep is desperately trying to poke at what they can, get rid of what they can. Sides are on the field, but it still feels like Flipstep is just trying to find any opening. Any damage they can deal. Like anything at all. Just something to get them to feel like they're not floundering this game. And that's tough to do. And finally getting another 2.4 expansion. Another big expansion. 
but not going for the obvious one. So Rymark has a bit of a harder time harassing. While on the other hand, Flipstep, they're having no, no breaks harassing at all. Finally able to get rid of one metal extractor. Nice, nice micro there. Nice pull away from the metal extractor before it explodes. I'd like to see that. It's always good to think about that, but that's, that's a good metal extractor kill. That evens out the static economy, so at least, at least right now, Rymark and Flipstep are about even, but really, Flipstep, they have been building with all their metal. Rymark's been saving their metal, so they're about to push it out. Once this Caretaker gets up, they're going to be pushing, actually, they have 20 metal income, they're still good. Even with the Caretaker, Caretaker and the Freaker, that'll still give them a good half minute of plus 25 production. An extra 20% boost of production for half a minute is nothing to be scoffed at. And that tick not in the correct position. The Glaive, once again, another Glaive sick of life. Flipstep's Glaive have terrible morale. They've really got to work on morale training. You know, get, get something to make them feel happy about life again. Make them feel like they, they want to fight. Want to be there. I don't know. I'm not really sure what robots would find as a thing they'd want to do. Or that'd make them feel great about being in a particular fight or battle or anything. Oh, Flipstep was trying to lure the pirate into the tick. Unfortunately, the tick was too far away and the glaive did not move back. And there we go. The scythe finally paying off. Should actually be able to do a fair bit of damage here. If can get, oh, gets rid of the freaker. Yeah, that freaker. Ooh, not quite. Even going to go for it? Yeah, it looks like it's still going to go for it. It's kind of pressuring the Freakers. The Freaker... Ah, now it's going to die to the puppies. Two puppies will kill... Ooh, nice! Manages to get rid of the puppies just barely. That was close. That was... They got lucky the puppies missed. It's really lucky. And another raid coming in here. Flipstep able to get these raids finally working. I'm sure they feel really good about this. They're finally getting somewhere. That is, that is nice to see for Flipstep. I mean, it's been, like, Flipstep has not been able to do much. Rymark has been expanding around the map. They've been harassing, they've been going around with this pyro. They've been hitting, well, oh, another factory going to be built up over to the northwest. Probably gunship. Knowing Rymark is probably gunship. And another glaive down. But hey, that was a good raid. That scythe, that scythe did a good job. So the northeast is down. Rymark is now in a weaker position than Flipstep economically. Though production-wise, they're about the same. Yeah, 20 metal into the factory in both cases. Flipstep just making sure they have the energy they need for... What? I don't know. I don't see any expansion plans coming out right now. This 2.7 still hasn't been built up to yet. This Okay, this one over here is being built up. That's good. But not much reclaim. However, it's always good to have the energy. And there it is. There's that gunship plant. As expected, just getting built up. And that is... Going to produce something. Brawlers! Because why not? Everyone loves brawlers. Well, Rymark loves brawlers. And more scythe damage. Nicely done. Flipstip's commander at... Oh, interesting. So Flipstip is doing a lot with their commander, too. Not the best idea. Looks like their commander is actually going to be in a very tough spot. Especially with the heat ray. Like, What's that going to do when the commander is stuck? If the placeholder is going to lock this thing down until the moderators kill it. Flipstep is going to have to come in with something else if they want to save it. Oh, what? No, the placeholder. What's the placeholder doing? That's what I expect the placeholder to do. With Flipstep, with the nano frame spam, making sure the moderators can't hit it, but still, still. This is a really tough spot. And there we go. Gets rid of the placeholder with the glaives, or at least distracts it. That's good enough. Flipstep can get out of there. Their commander can get out of there. The glaives save the day. Possibly killing themselves in the process, but definitely saving the day. So Flipstep's commander, however, is still under a lot of threat. Scythe knows about this. Flipstep knows about the brawler. Do they have racers up? They do have one in their main base. They have none over the southeast. And yeah, Glaze and Black Hole is painful, but they did a good job. And Flipstep's commander ooh, needs to be repaired. Get out of there. One more moderator shot is going to kill it. Why is it still on the front lines? It's dead, right now. Or, oh, not quite. Scythe, okay, that's Scythe. Doing too much to save it, but now it's dead. 
Lipstip losing their commander. Bit of a shame given how much ever they went to save that thing, but still Rymark way behind, economically speaking. Flipstep has the economy advantage. They have another factory coming in. They have Caretaker as well, so yeah, airplane plant as well. So just get the anti-air. Get also anti-ground, because why not? I mean, Ravens do work against the gunships. They hit gunships. So at this point, Rymark... I mean, they've been taking a lot of damage. Flipstep has been expanding well. They've been harassing well. That early game, Timidity, has given way as soon as that... Basically, once this northeast side got destroyed, Flipstep has been putting a lot of pressure on Rymark. Showing that they know this map. I mean, they were just... They were timid because they really should be, and that was wise. They didn't take this, extra, this, this expansion when they really couldn't hold it, and now they can. They're taking everything they need. And airplane plant's done. More... Okay, gremlins coming out, not bad. But this airplane plant needs to be used. Otherwise, there's really no point. That 600 mil that could have been used elsewhere. Jack's up for Rymark. And Rymark getting reclaimed to get back into the game, but they're still a bit behind. Their static economy, not quite where they want it to be. Flipstep will be able to get rid of any air. That's not their concern, though. That's why I was a bit curious why they went for so many gremlins. Because while the brawler is a bit of a problem, and the gremlins will do very nicely against it, that's not their concern. Flipstep does not need that much anti here. But they got the Rocco, so at least the Jack will go down eventually. But Rymark going for more... Okay, getting more production. They just want to push as much metal as they can. Get all this stored metal into their factory. Get as many units as they can as quickly as possible. And there's the Gremlins coming in to get rid of the Nats. Because those Nats... I don't see them used very much, actually. That's another thing. It's good, good to see them used from time to time. Good disabling unit. Get, gets Rymark back into this. Gonna lose that Jack, though, in contested territory. I think it's close enough to Rymark that Rymark could probably take it if this match goes in their favor. Actually, no, it depends. Whoever wins this engagement. And Rymark does not seem to be particularly confident. That Brawler's taking a fair amount of damage. But there are still Brawlers in play. Not that many Swifts, but enough Brawlers. Now, where are the workers? There is... Aha! There's the Conjurer. More Contras. This area here, that's 500 metal reclaim. And the Jack alone is 240, so that's good. It's really good. And this Brawler is doing what it can, but not enough. Unfortunately, the Brawler is going to die. No follow-up, or not follow-up, no defense to deal with it. The Moderator's able to help, but not quickly enough, I'm afraid. And this Archangel, oh, that's in the worst possible spot for a flip step. Every unit that comes out of here is probably going to fly over this. He's going to have a hard time not flying over this Archangel right now. And there's no easy way for Flipsip to deal... The only way Flipsip can really deal with this is to Thunderbird it out and then bomb it with a couple Ravens. But they have no Ravens right now. But yeah, that's about all they can do right now. And another Scythe in here. Getting rid of Mexes. But not as effectively as before. However, it doesn't matter. Flipstep is still ahead. Gets rid of another Brawler. That is really important. The only problem, like I said, this Archangel is taking over. Flipstep can't keep an air army up thanks to this Archangel. Pain in the butt. Absolute pain. So that is... That is a problem that needs dealing with. Or at least... It may need dealing with. Ooh. Nice tick. No follow-up, I'm afraid. Oh, this Phoenix can get in. That Phoenix, there we go. There we go. The Phoenix, it's going to only get one shot, and the moderators will kill it. But if it fires off as soon as it can, and there it goes. Getting rid of the... Oh, well. Yep, burns about half the puppies. Oh, uh, pup a lot of them tried. I was thinking, what are those missiles? Oh, the puppies. Yeah, right. They fired in the air to get rid of the Phoenix. Not bad, but still, the puppies have a lot of reclaim to work with. They're not gone yet. Still a good shot, though. That was still probably a good idea. It's just... Tough position, nonetheless. And that's being...
pain in the butt, remaining a pain in the butt. The two hammers to get rid of the, get rid of these defenders. That's what you do, as Cloaky. You get a couple hammers, gets rid of basically any defenses. Once the gnats go away, and more puppies coming in. The puppies are not doing especially well. They're dealing a bit of damage, but not enough. Ah, and the raven getting killed, hitting the, hitting a puppy, not hitting the archangel is. Oh yeah, it's radar, but now, now it's known. Now they know which one to shoot. The problem being, however, that it can't hit in time. This Archangel is just scouting everything, knows exactly what Flipsip's doing over in the front. And otherwise, nothing's gonna deal with it. And Rymark into Amphib, into Boys. That's what they were trying to do last game against Kshatriya, and they w didn't manage to do it. The, the Amphib plant got destroyed too quickly. This time they're able to, but they're once again very behind economically. And Flipstep using all that metal. Are they building anything else? Are they building any striders? No, doesn't look like it. Nope, just going for the standard thing. Okay, going for Wyvern, which is kind of stridery. That will get rid of the Archangel, but that's a moot point. The Archangel's left. Where'd the Archangel go to? Oh, it went over to the north side of the hill, that's why. Right now, though, I think Flipstep, like, the one problem is these boys, but these boys are manageable. The Glaives will help deal with them. The Rockers can help deal with them. I mean, this stuff is manageable. It's just kind of tricky. And Flipstep, it does feel like every moment they wait is, oh, Blast Wings as well. Every moment they wait, Flipstep is just giving more and more to Rymark. Like, more time to prepare, more territory, more, I mean, more territory, but definitely more time to get up an army. But now the Wyvern is out of the bag. Didn't see the Archangel, so it couldn't hit it. If it does spot the Ar if they do spot the Archangel, that will be fine. That'll work. And I don't, do they know where it is? Nope, no clue. Oh wait, no. No, they have no idea. Radar's not quite there. But now that the Wyvern's been revealed, Tridents are up. And where are the gremlins? They appear to have gone off. This remains kind of... I mean, it's skirmisher game right now. A lot of... Like, moderators, boys, Rockos. The Glade is doing what they can, but surprisingly not doing very much. I'm also kind of surprised at the warrior use, just because of how skirmisher heavy this game has become. But, yeah, there it is. The Warriors doing what they can, and these boys are not staying up. Like, if if Flipster can get rid of this southwest sec or northwest section, that should be powerful. The main base is gone. The northwest section is the only thing left. Actually, Flipster basically has this. Taking out that main base is huge. But the northwest is really where Rymark is focused. At least in terms of their attention. But it doesn't matter, because Rymark losing their main base, throws in the towel. Very nice turnaround from Flipster. Bit of a grind there for Flipstep, but they managed. Once they got rid of that northeast, once they took the northeast base, or destroyed the northeast base, didn't take it, just smashed it down. Get the economic advantage and get into a position where they felt comfortable expanding, they just took it. And Rymark had a lot of good positions too. They had a decently powerful brawler, but Flipstep was on top of that. The Archangel did a good job, but Flipstep got the Wyvern to deal with that if necessary. And really, this northwest is just being pounded by the Wyvern. That was that was a good game though. I think Rymark probably could have gone. I mean, given what was there, I can kind of see the sumo, but I don't really agree with it. I think the biggest problem was that Rymark just didn't really rebuild that quickly. Like they lost their economy early on, and they never really rebuilt. So Flipstep was able to get a massive economic advantage, and it almost didn't matter what they built at that point. Yeah, Rymark never took the Mexes over to the north, as Flipstep pointed out, while well, Flipstep took all the Mexes to the south. It's constantly expanding. So now we're going to have a match between... Sprung and Flipstep on Siberian Divide, a bit of a shorter one. That'll be up in a minute or two, so stay tuned.